hello friends uh, come back to our uh, youtube channel high tech institution uh, we all know right in this uh, playlist we are focusing dedicatedly for uh, aerobase and devops uh, job opportunities correct so of course we have successfully completed two videos uh, based on your response right uh, you know which pushed me to make uh, the third video as well so again this is uh, video number 3 uh, usually right in this playlist uh, i am planning to cover the aws and devops engineers profile how we need to update to a nokri profile and uh, <clears throat> of course in upcoming videos i am planning to cover linkedin profile as well in the same playlist so parallelly i'll be covering uh, how can we apply for a job and how to understand the job requirement uh, what is majorly every company uh, looking from uh, looking uh, from each and every candidate about the aws and devops uh, the topics and services which are the things that really matters that is all the things right we are discussing all right so now let me take you to my profile again uh, today i'm going to show you already i've explained about how to update the personal information how to update the project information and the key skill today i'm going to explain about uh, detailed information of the projects okay so here i have updated something randomly where you can see uh, i'm you know in the project section i have updated something like multi cloud operations and uh, development something i have you know updated currently right we are supporting for the pharma based uh, companies uh, which is in uh, you know uh, india so basically right um, this is the working duration similarly in your career whatever the different uh, project you worked so try to you know you need not to disclose your client name okay that is not really needed so i know that is confidential for you but uh, try to mention as long as uh, you know transparent way all right that way right it will be really benefit to you okay so fine so here is the important factor and what you have done in that particular uh, project what is your you know scope and things here i have updated in such a way understanding the client requirement by going through the assessments of the existing setup sending a questionnaire to customer to understand the requirement in scope full fully and doing follow up calls on the same all right uh, fine architecting the uh, high level technical solution in aligned with customer demands uh, pain points you know actually it's pain point and scope requirement running poc building a uh, prototypes and use cases with the new technology and tools okay so these are the items right i have updated uh, so you can see we are majorly right working on these are the services aws managed you know vpn direct connect you no know, control tower landing zone ec2 ecs fargate eks lambda i have updated elastic bean stack ami s3 ebs efs glacier storage gateway rds aurora dynamo db elastic cache vpc route 53 uh, sorry route 53 updated twice all right so what i'm trying to mean right when you are updating the uh, keyword and the content of course we have already highlighted in the key skill section as well it's really good when you are briefly explaining about your project and what you do right yeah, of course that should be you know very huge but when you are uh, uh, telling by sentence or orally so uh, we have to mention the important factor that is the reason i have mentioned all the services over here all right uh, this is something this is a project is all belongs to multi cloud environment you can even notice uh, you know uh, 2016 i have worked on you know uh, unilever there is a project or there i worked as a aws and azure devops engineer in that environment people are using the multi cloud so okay that time i was used to work with aws and cloud related ready application solution implementing and controlling on our data in a multiple aws account we had a multiple aws accounts in their environment i'm trying to mention that and the docker as core experience along with the docker span and the ecs eks you know kubernetes creating docker images using docker uh, docker images using docker file uh, working docker container snapshot removing the images so ansible terraform bash scripting python okay continuous uh, 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 delivery you know deploying managing uh, operating scalable and highly available so like this it's very good to mention the project information so when the recruiter is you know looking into it uh, even you have a very good exposure on different technology along with the key skill uh, they'll also uh, will look into this content so try to mention very attractive way and also try to mention the technology is what you want okay this is the one suggestion i would give you uh, in this uh, video now i'll take you to the another job description reviewing part okay this is something called job world india the company where they are looking for a candidate who has aws solution architect actually all right so here uh, you can see 10 to 18 years of uh, experience the candidate they are really looking for a 
uh, job okay the office location what are the location they have you know they are preferred for hyderabad pune chennai bangalore whichever the location they have highlighted so you have to mention those areas over here all right see so coming to the job highlights part okay job highlights work with information security info security ensuring the proposed infrastructure solution combat compiles with uh, ice cloud security guidelines okay i think uh, they are more oriented to security based i believe so when you are working in any project you are mostly supporting for banking related customers finance related customer or r and d research related customers right they are more curious and more uh, conscious on security that is the reason you know they have highlighted in the here itself we create cross functional infrastructure project plan uh you know uh, that ensures required build deliver the infrastructure all right fine okay that doesn't matter at all so coming to the job description so if you go for applying this job right you should know you must know what are the requirement they have given if you really fit into that requirement right then your profile will be shortlisted so if something not relate to this job description with your profile what you have uh, you know uh, by by going through the job description itself you can you know decide now Uh, what are the things to be you know consider what are the things we have to take and care everything so let me start from the beginning uh, you know become well uh, you know versed and able to support multiple versions of modeling delivering it delivery and self provisioning all right fine so they are asking us to be multiple supported provisioning model so either it could be it deliverable or self provisioning we should be in a position to work for that uh, particular client Uh, and uh, serve a single point of contact for all cloud and questioners and issues so you will be working as a kind of a lead and manager role uh, architect role uh, single point of contact mean kind of a spark hmm? uh, in the cloud side and infrastructure side any questions comes any issues comes right you will be in a position to answer their uh, you know questions and things and stuff okay so you'll be a single point of contact support multiple deploy model using you know scripter devops ci cd and infrastructure as a code methodology i believe this in this environment right they are seeking for a candidate who can work on multiple uh, deployment model sometime it should be manual sometime it should be uh, infrastructure as a code model sometime it should be devops way sometime it should be ci cd way so you have to ready and you have to build your knowledge across all these area only then you will be uh, able to crack the interview all right so participate in the design cloud based infrastructure solutioning working alongside cloud architect and service domain example database networking storage okay ensure that initial anticipated future business requirements are represented okay you should you know uh, also not only working you should have a capability of uh, representing in the design perspective you know making a infrastructure diagram all those things right uh, you have to do uh, end to end web db storage networking iam everything you should have a Uh, requirement to do okay we are working with the pmo uh, project manager to define project scope duration resource requirement and cost okay you will be working involving in the cost allocation uh, what is the budget okay so for the project how many resource headcount is needed how can we reduce the headcount how can we go plan for a cost cutting all those things right you have to be in the position so i think uh, all these key term they have given right everything in the perspective of solution architect so even nowadays people you know architect database architect itself doing all these task but fine okay create a cross functional infrastructure project plan that uh, you know uh, encompass to uh, of all the task required to build to deliver the infrastructure include the dependency in parallel task okay so now i'll go through on a high level so these are again coming to the process oriented process oriented see ensure the different service domain web database so and i am again same thing they have repeated so you know hand over the infrastructure solution to client deployment along with the uh, application and testing okay once you have build your solution once you build with your job right you need to uh, hand over that application and uh, you know after uh, build and uh, testing to your client okay overall right by going through important four five points i understood this more into more than architect role so there is much nothing much into technical they are literally seeking for you know role where uh, leading the team okay and interacting with the client and uh, organizing the process and implementing that process to the team that is what uh, they are uh, more expecting in this particular role so as a people who exactly looking for a wants to play a technical uh, technical contributor to a team uh, those kind of people can avoid such uh, you know uh, jobs actually uh, don't you know get uh, you know confused uh, by seeing the designation what's given but the job description right is totally you know uh, looks not good actually okay there is no much technical into it so the people who's uh, more into 
technical who wants to work in the technical field uh, preferably they can avoid such uh, you know uh, companies and attending the interview also uh, you can avoid uh, spending time on you know improvising your skill over here okay this is a great example where to do not apply this job particular job okay so fine uh, so hope you get some information so parallel I am recommending all of you to give a like to this video if you found something useful and give your comment. I am really, you know, uh, requesting everyone to give a comment in the comment section and subscribe this channel. If you need any specific content, please do, uh, you know, mention in the comment section. I will do the video for you. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. All right.